Centering a title above a table is a very common occurrence in Excel, but Merge and Center is actually not the best button for that. Let me show you why. If I use the keyboard shortcut from cell C6, Control Spacebar, do you see how it doesn't grab the entirety of the C column, but instead it grabs the entirety of the table? That's because this monstrosity up here has been blended together with Merge and Center. I'm going to replace it with a macro for center across selection, and you'll see the benefits you get out of that. My name is Neil Malik. I'm from NAC Training, and in today's Everyday Office, it's Automation Mondays. If we start off with a left-aligned title, the first thing we're going to do is highlight all the cells across the top of the table where the title is going to be centered across. Then, going to the Developer tab at the top of the screen, I can click to record a new macro. Now the tool I'm going to use is called Center Across Selection, so that's what I'll call my macro. And I like to assign it the keyboard shortcut Control Shift C because that means centering to me. And finally, I save it into my personal macro workbook so that it's available no matter which file I have open. And I click OK. The only thing I'm recording is going to the Home tab at the top of the screen, going to the Alignment group on the Home tab, and using the little pop-out button here in the corner in order to choose a horizontal alignment called Center Across Selection. So I click on Center Across Selection and click OK, and then going to the Developer tab, I stop the recording process. Let's take a second and see the benefit. If I click somewhere in the B column and I use the keyboard shortcut control spacebar, it immediately grabs the entirety of the B column because the B column is intact. I have not smashed together A, B, C, D, E, F, and G in order to center 2017 expenses up here at the top. Now let's see it in action on other lists of information. See right over here, expense categories is above three columns of information. I highlight that and I use my keyboard shortcut Control shift c And taxable expenses is above two columns. I highlight those two cells and I use Control shift c And I grab departments, two cells, Control shift c and offices, three cells, Control shift c so recording that as a macro and assigning it a keyboard shortcut makes it very quick and easy to replace the merge and center functionality altogether with this better tool called Center Across Selection.